Max, is it clear over there? I need support. Okay, I'm coming. Well, I'm almost there. Welcome to Dark Emergency, the biggest museum in Europe. This is Dark Emergency. We have 3,000 people here in Germany. Um, people from all over Europe are gathering here to have fun together. But it's more than just the Milsim. We do have a stage with music, there's multiple shops, there's like a platinum area which is way too fancy for a Milsim. We have the camping area right here. And yeah, in this vlog we're gonna show you the most cool and outstanding stuff. So, let's go. <laughs> This was the bus here. <laughs> that was the like most crowded start. They just stuffed the other players in there with their feet. Oh, okay. I've just seen this monstrosity of a vehicle made by Che or rebuilt by Che. From the outside, it's an old uh, Bundeswehr vehicle. Inside, it was a uh, British container and I've rebuilt everything inside. Welcome in my mobile home. Over here, we have the kitchen, cooking area, normal sink, and some water, fridge. Here we, we can see the energy con consumption, water system, the li light, <laughs> and over there is the, um, the dining area. There we go, all the technology going on. Yeah. What's crazy as well is the solar panels here on top. How many kilowatts? 2,000. 2,000 kilowatts. And then at the same time, we have this LMG mount right here. Just found Florian here with this LMG here, the MG42. What's the rate of fire on this guy? 600 rounds per minute. Nice. Does it have the quick barrel exchange? Yeah, sure. Ooh, that's a nice, massive gearbox in there, huh? Nice, beefy boy here. Full CNC hop-up chamber. That's pretty decent. It comes like this? Uh, is it modified? Li little, little bit tuning with yeah. a new bore. <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. Probably the most ridiculous part about this museum is that they decided to put three whirlpools right into this area for people to enjoy the bubbles right after the combat. I like it. Well, not everyone likes it apparently. They even have a proper shower here. <laughs> How museum is that? Here is Nick, he's running the whole dark emergency and Man, I'm curious, how did you get the sand here and the whirlpools? <laughs> what's the what's the deal? It's a lot of work. And we needed 25 trucks. How many tons of sun is it? Uh, 250 sand. tons. What was the whole idea of this like? It's all about the cocktail bar. I said we do need a cocktail bar. It's it's important. Of course it's important for an airsoft event to have a cocktail bar. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not important. But uh, if we have a cocktail bar, we need sand for like having uh, a beach, beach uh -huh. bar feeling. Uh -huh. Yeah. And if we do things, um, it's going huge. So what you're seeing is part of the museum. So you can choose between sleeping in a tent where you know rain goes through, it's all wet and cold, or you can actually pick one of these guys here. And you have proper beds, you have a heater, you have a fridge with um, you know drinks inside. There we go, the full museum experience. Wie natürlich immer ja, passieren unerwartete Dinge, unsere Expedition, nicht unsere Expedition, sondern klar, unsere Sprots kommen, noch in der nächsten Stunde, schauen wir mal. Wenn die kommen, ist der Shop wieder offen, ihr könnt euch die Area anschauen. Also die Paletten sind angekommen, wir haben angefangen anzuräumen. So weit sind wir gekommen, schaut euch das euch mal an, ja. <laughs> How was the game? Nice, nice. What, what was your best moment? As we picked up like a, a huge group of yeah. um, red KGGs uh, and I took out about eight, nine people. Six of them were this, yeah. two of them were this. Nice. Yeah. Well, do you have a barrel extension on a 3 3 Yep. Oh wow, I've never seen that. That's interesting. Which, which inner barrel do you have inside? Stock. 
Stock. Stock. So what's this? It's just <laughs> to just look good. Looks. Just look <laughs> okay. good. That's also unique. Oh wow. So you put two? Two marks in a slim pouch. That's interesting. Uh, but if you take one out, you lose the other one, right? One's in here and one's in here. Cool. Thank yeah. you so much. No problem. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Joseph. How heavy was the thing the whole day? Uh, 8.6 kilos. 8.6 kilos. <laughs> it is a nice carrying handle though. Yeah. It's like, oh my <laughs> Wow. It's nice. Man, I never played with such a gun. Yeah, it's nice how, to play. How long can you hold it even? Not for too long, huh? So, what was your best experience with this beast here? Oh, I'm um, sitting at a turbine and hitting out an entire squad of KGG. Yeah? Are you running this on 0 0.5? Or is this... It's just under uh, 0.5, right? 0 0.49. So really interesting, yeah, for the international audience. Full auto in Germany is under 0.5 joules. So LMG players, like this guy, what's your name? Leon. Leon. Leon is running under 0 0.5 joule with an LMG. Which view you with? 0.28, yeah. On a 0.5. Yeah. Any special modifications on the inside? Yeah, or you just um, bought it as it is and MOSFET went to work? And uh, other O-rings, so. Nice loadout, I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's different. Me too, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. So I'm here with Tristan from the Enclave. Can you tell us more about what's your purpose at Dark Emergency here? Yeah, of course. So we are a team that purposefully bring balance to our to the gameplay on the field. So if one team's getting stuck and uh, can't move forward, they call us so we can help them. So it gets balanced out. Also, when we're not out helping the players, we are um, at our base to do an impression of United States military personnel and uh, British military personnel to bring a little bit more aspects into the gameplay. And this is the camp right over there. A very well built camp. Let's check it out. Hi. Hey. Hello. Nice to meet you. Can yeah. we walk around and you show us? Yeah, uh, we can walk around, it's no problem. But we are just in the... Taking down phase, right? Taking down, yeah. Yes, but let's but still use the opportunity. This. There's still some stuff out there. Yeah, so yeah. let's go check it out. These are British military vehicles. A uh, Land Rover um, from the British Rhine Army. Though they are not uh, left-handed driving. Yeah. It's right-handed driving. It's a uh, Defender 110. This vehicle is uh, equipped with the communication for the team, uh, with the power supply for the team. Yeah, we are just putting it down. We have, uh, we call it here in Germany, Ackerschnacker. It's uh, field communication with yeah. cables. Um, we have here for all towers and so on. We have a vehicle live tracking system. So we can track all vehicles from us on the field um, in an offline system. This is HQ. Mm -hmm. How many people are working on this? 52 people. You can see it, the field communication is taking down now. We are fully independent, so we have a light, we have our generals, we have a battery pack. Here you see one in-game vehicle, it's uh, not m more fully uh, integrated. It's normally have the Gimpy and the M2. And here we have a second military vehicle, L50 on the top and a Gimpy on the, on the front right. Is there an HP engine inside or how do you run it? These are the uh, We are living here from Sunday to Sunday. A so whole week. Days, huh? How long um, does it take you to set all of this up? Two days. This is the fifth year yeah. we do this. We know what we have to do. So every people go uh, hand I can in tell. hand and you guys are yeah. pros. Yeah. How did you build this gun? Wait, that's not steel? No, it's not steel. Um, what is it? We built it from uh, multiplex wood. There are rolls inside so you can completely freely one-handed turn it. And uh, uh, self-milled mount for the weapon. Man, it looks like so much work. <laughs> I really appreciate when people put this effort into these things. This is like ha half of my hobby from yeah. Airsoft. It's like building stuff and then the other part is playing. Okay, cool move, Joseph. Go, 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 go. Last day of the dark emergency, it's really late, but there's one last thing that we have to do. We got an email and someone's dad said, hey, my kid has birthday and, you know, maybe we can surprise him. So we have an SSE 18 and we're gonna make someone really, really happy. 
We found it. Ist das Hafen 35, oder? Ja. ja Alles gut zum Geburtstag, andere Dörfer merchen Sie. Das ist jetzt nicht euer Ernst, oder? Ich weiß gar nicht, ist was so. ich sagen soll. Was? Danke dir. It's over. My cat dance anymore. Don't even try, Joseph. I'm done. Even the breakfast is kind of fancy here. Last day here, a dark emergency. People are packing up their stuff. We are packing up the shop in a second. It was a good experience. It was very different to museums that I've seen. The infrastructure was amazing. There was concerts, there was parties. Vendors, giveaways, whirlpools, nice, decent breakfast here. So, really, great experience. I think Joseph loved it as well. It's the biggest, the most advanced event I've seen. Well, ever. Well. It, there, there's just everything. Amazing, good job. Yes, so thanks to Joseph for having us. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. What about the pools? We try to uh, just buy a pool and put it there and that's it. But it's not that easy because of the um, German law. We set them up and we send it the whole plan uh, to, to the... Um, ministry? Yes. And they said, oh, what is this? I said, yeah, it's a pool. Oh, okay. So you need to test the water three times a day. And I said, what the f For the really? pH. Yeah, yes. <laughs> the pH value. So we have a guy here. He's just here to test the water of the whirlpool. Full time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good job, like Thank that's you. next level. You saw the fireworks? Yes. You like them? Of course. Yeah, it's 10 years, so anniversary, you need to do something special. Special, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you definitely made an overkill here. Everything, uh -huh. all the expectations were more than like over delivered. Oh. You over delivered on every single thing. Perfect. So, Thank nice you. One. Thanks. Good.